people, including the chairman of a Shawjib group, arrested over the fire that killed 52 people in Narangonj. 60 lakh doses of a Pfizer vaccine are set to arrive in Bangladesh in early August, informed Health Minister Zahid Malik. Although Army Police Rep and BGB are still active in the field, the pressure of vehicles on the roads are increased. And Eid al Azha will be celebrated in Saudi Arabia on July 20 as the crescent moon of the month of Zilhaz was not spotted on Friday. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news. I'm Fazer Oshun with you in the newsroom today. We are watching the headlines and I'm going to the details. Eight people, including the chairman of a Shawjib group and his sons, have been arrested over Thursday's fire that has killed 52 people so far at a factory in Drubganj, Naranganj. Home Minister Sadhu Zaman Khan Kamal on Saturday said the owners and managers of that Shawjib group owned Hashim Food Limited factory were among those taken into custody by police. The minister made the disclosure while talking to the reporters after visiting the gutted factory in the Kornupur area of Bhulta, Drubganj. The arrestees included Shawji Group Chairman and Managing Director Muhammad Abul Hashim, his four sons Hashim bin Hashim, Tariq Ibrahim, Tosib Ibrahim and Tanzim Ibrahim, Shawji Group Chief Executive Officer Shahan Shah Azad, Hashim Group's Deputy General Manager Mamun Rashid and its Civil Engineer Admin Officer Salahuddin. Rows of bodies of the victims of a Thursday midnight fire in Narangonj are laid up on the floor of a Dhaka Medical College mortuary, which doesn't have a room of freezing capacity for this many bodies. At least 49 bodies were brought to the morgue from Narangonj for autopsies, but the freezers had room for only six. Meanwhile, the area was already shuddered by a strong odor from the bodies yesterday evening. Since the bodies are burnt beyond recognition, they will have to be identified through DNA tests before they are handed over to their families. Health Minister Zahid Malik has said that 60 lakh doses of Pfizer vaccine are set to arrive in Bangladesh under COVAX facility in early August. The minister made the disclosure to the reporters while visiting the failed hospital at Bangabandhu Sheikh Muzib Medical University Convention Center in the capital today. Zahid Malik said World Health Organization will provide 60 lakh doses of Pfizer vaccine in early August. Besides, 50 lakh more doses of Chinese vaccine will arrive in the country in the late June or early August. He further said Bangladesh will get 1 to 1 1.5 crore doses of vaccine by the next half and a month. Fourteen more people died off at a corner unit of a Rajshahi Medical College and Hospital in the last 24 hours. All of them died from 8 a.m. Friday to 8 a.m. Saturday. Six of the deceased were corona positive and 15 others were with the corona symptoms of the deceased. Seven from seven from Rajshahi and four from Natur, one from Pabna, Chuadanga and Jaipurhat respectively. On the 10th day of the ongoing strict lockdown to prevent coronavirus infection, the pressure of commuters and vehicles on the road increased today. At the same time, the Army, Police, RAB and BGB are still active in the field. They are patrolling at different points in the capital. Fines and arrests are also being made if anyone goes out without an urgent net. However, those engaged in emergency services can go to their destination or workplace by showing their identity cards and informing the law enforcement agencies while searching for necessities. However, despite the weekly holiday on Saturday, the presence of commuters and vehicles on the roads in the capital has been noticed since morning. As a result, long queues have been seen at police checkpoints on different roads in Dhaka.
Eid ul Azha will be celebrated in Saudi Arabia on July 20, as the crescent moon of the month of Adil Had was not spotted in the country on Friday, according to an official Saudi government account on Twitter. Hence, the first day of Adil Had will be on July 11, while July 10 will be the last day of Adil Qad. As a religious tweeted, spotted the crescent moon demonstrates the days of Hajj and Eid ul Azha, which is celebrated on the 10th of Dhul Hajj, the last month of the Islamic calendar. The day of Arafat will fall on July 19 this year. Early on Thursday, the Saudi Arabia Supreme Court had urged Muslims in the kingdom to try to cite the Dhul Hajj crescent on Friday. Bangladesh usually celebrated both Eid ul Fitr and Eid ul Azha a day after the biggest religious festivals of Muslims are celebrated. In in Saudi Arabia. Like the previous year, no Bangladeshis will be able to join Hajj this year as the Saudi authorities last month banned foreign pilgrims. Bangladesh Meteorological Department today predicted a low pressure area is likely to form over West Central Bay and adjoining Northwest Bay within the next 24 hours. The Met Office also forecasted through its release that many places of the country are likely to experience light to moderate rain or thunder showers with moderately heavy to heavy falls in the next 24 hours. U.S. President Joe Biden has chosen Peter Dehash as the next U.S. ambassador to Bangladesh. The White House said in a statement on Friday, the veteran diplomat and the trade policy expert will replace the current envoy, Earl R. Miller, who had joined the embassy in Dhaka on November 13, 2018. Hash, a career member of the U.S. Senior Foreign Service who holds the class of a minister counselor, currently serves as the acting assistant secretary of state and a Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary for Economic and Business Affairs for the State Department, the statement noted. We are about to the end and the headlines once again. Eight people, including the chairman of a Shoji group, arrested over the fire that killed 52 people in Narangonj. 60 lakh doses of Pfizer vaccine are set to arrive in Bangladesh in early August, informed Health Minister Zahid Malik. Although Army, Police, RAB and BGB are still active in the field, the pressure of vehicles on the roads are increased. Eid ul Azha will be celebrated in Saudi Arabia on July 20, as the crescent moon of the month of Ajil has was not started on Friday. And the Taliban claimed that it has seized the control of 85% of territory in Afghanistan. Government said it was a propaganda campaign. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with my TV news online, visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla, Facebook slash MyTV Bangla, and Twitter slash MyTV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. Viewers, be careful to prevent coronavirus and follow the hygiene rules. Allah Hafiz.